because if, if I'm going to have some difficult question, is from this formula, okay? But basically, it's the same thing with consumer, so don't worry about it. But then, we talk about a consumer, we have total utility, right? And we have what? Marginal utility. And production is indeed very complicated, okay? Because, okay, we have total production or called total product, okay? Total production or called pro total product. And it is F a, sorry, FLK is equal to Q, right? Then you, you have to have what? Marginal product, okay? And also average product, okay? So what is marginal product? So let's say we have labor, okay? Marginal product of labor. So what's marginal product? It is FLK divided by L, okay? So it is the, oh, oh sorry. It should be this, sorry, it should be this, okay? And so when you have a total production line, you have that production line, you look at the slope, what you get? You get marginal product of labor, okay? Marginal product of labor. So it is production, labor, production, labor. And here, it is average product. So this is the production you have, and this is the, the amount of labor you have. So it is the production of each unit of labor. Production of each unit of labor. And then we look at uh, cost. Okay, so here is the cost function. It is here. Okay. And so we have total cost. And first we will discuss showroom. Okay, in the short run, what do you have? You have total variable cost and total fixed cost. Okay? So VC variable. V is, sorry. V is variable and F is fixed. So variable cost could be, you know, the amount of coffee beans, the amount of labor, and etc. And fixed cost could be, could be the rent. Okay, so suppose you need to run the shop, you pay a rent, and then that would be the fixed cost. Okay, and then you divide it by Q, what you get. So TC divided by Q, TVC divided by Q, TFC divided by Q. So what you have? You have average total cost. And here you have average variable cost, and then you have average fixed cost. Okay? So hopefully these formulas will get you confused. And then we're going to go back to the textbook to show some other basics. So you need to know in terms of how to work out marginal product, average product, and all the cost issues here. Okay. Thank you. Ten light, thank you. Okay, let's uh, look at the PPT. So the firms are organizations that are armed with a primary objective. So what's the objective for the firm, for the boss? Make money, right? So maximize profits. Okay, maximize profit. And how to maximize profit? You have to produce goods, right? So then, you know, you have to get organized and get a lot of people, employees, and get a lot of factors production, okay? And so there are short run and long run. As I've told you, in a short run, some factors are fixed, okay? In a short run, some factors are fixed. And in a long run, you know, all factors are variable. Okay, in the long run, all factors are available. And there are some other related concepts. Okay, we have here returns to scale. We will discuss it when we reach it. And there is another concept called diminishing marginal returns. 
Remember that when we talk about consumers, what do we have? We have diminishing marginal utility. Okay? Diminishing marginal utility. Basically, that is the same thing and it applies to producer, but we call it diminishing marginal returns. So you use a lot of inputs, okay? Inputs, it is, uh, you know, factors of production, okay? Labor, capital, okay? And so now uh, there are two things. And think about it to see what's the difference there. Sorry. Well, take a break. <laughs>